sister, aunt, niece, and concubine is now pregnant. Hey folks, we're going to take a look at some a mod here in Crusader Kings 3 today. It is adding a new bookmark to Crusader Kings 3. So if you remember CK2, there were like five or six bookmarks, and then you could also set it by date, and you can go check out any date um, in the entire game, which was really cool, after 1066. Uh, but with CK3, we've only got two start dates. We've got 1066, and we've got 867. This mod adds back in 769, which was the very first start date in Crusader Kings 2. That was added with the uh, Charlemagne DLC. So we're going to go take a look at that right now. Okay, this mod is called the 769 Early Middle Ages Bookmark and is by Tempted here, who is currently offline. They're tempting you, though, to try a new start date to try a mod if you've never tried a mod before. This video does have face cam because I will be recording my look at it. But don't worry, there won't be any distractions when I'm recording that part. I'll just be talking to y'all over on the Uptubs. Of course, Twitch will be listening too. And if you don't follow me on Twitch, you should. My streams are very irregular at the moment because of this little guy, but I do try and do my best to get streams up. All right, so first things first, we have our new start date with the mod, the 1st of January, 769. We've got Charlemagne. Here is a choice, who's easy. Abdal Arraman, who's easy. We have Farmfala. Also, there's another guy back here, but we can't click him. That's an issue with the mod. So let me click over here. Let me click back. And now I can click on Marzad, uh, who's hard, but that is a slight issue that he's so far over there you can't click on him. I do have to give props though to the mod creator because he actually gave us another character who's not Eurocentric, and I guess even two characters that aren't Eurocentric, considering all of the other start dates, uh, except for Duramadara, are very, very Eurocentric. And I mean, the history in this time period in Europe was quite fascinating, but I'm sure there were quite fascinating things going on in other parts of the world too that are currently on the CK3 map. So let's go take a look. I'm going to go see what Twitch chat wants us to check out. All right, so Twitch chat is very evil as Twitch chat usually is. And rather than, you know, picking Charlemagne who's famous and easy, they decide to go with the guy who don't really know who he is so well, Mirzad Sassanid, who is the Count of Wakan. His faith is Madda Asa. Actually, he's Persian. This is the, the the Zoroastrian dude, isn't he? The marry your family guy. That's who I think this is. Okay. Home life following the Arab invasion of Persia. Three military expeditions. Six. Okay. We're not evil. We're misunderstood. Chad is misunderstood. Well, let's go take a look at him. Love the new intro. I know that's not a mod review, but I do love the new intro. All right. Yes. Twitch chat. Twitch chat picks picked the dude where we can marry our children. We can marry our siblings. We can marry our mother. You know, good old clean CK3 fun. <laughs> that is one thing in this mod's favor, I would say. Here is the map, which looks pretty cool. Byzantium, Byzantium's seen better days. They really have. Uh, this is splotchy. I didn't change the rules with Exclave, so if I did, that'd be really messy. Very interesting. Oh, there's Africa. Hello, Africa. And everyone seems to be broken up up here. Lots of choices for playing uh, pagans. Let's take a look at the religion map. Oh, still a lot of Catholic, of course. Oh, Rosebud is waking up. Slovaskin, Vitalis, Tingri. It's interesting, but what we do have is, you know, if you really, really want that incest in your game without having to reform your religion, this is the start date for you, considering there are so many Zoroastrians hanging around. Not at the top liege, but as the lower liege, there totally are. Uh, yeah, so there's a point in this mod's favor. Also, there is... Tibet! We all love Tibet, don't we? We're very glad to see them here. And they are properly Bodpa, Buddhist, very nice. And we are astray. I'm sure they're judging us. Okay, so I'm working from memory here, but I did play lots a lot of uh, games starting in C 769 ZK2, and they are correct here, the Iconoclast, the B Empire is starting at, the Byzantine Empire. 
Um, this is a little messier than it was in CK2. I'm not quite sure. I guess all these counties were independent. No, they weren't independent in CK2. I'm pretty darn sure. And... I mean, Northumbria was pretty powerful. We have Pictland up here. Good for him. He looks impressive. We've got all our early Vikings. Hi. <laughs> and for our religion, we got, of course, our divine marriage. So, you know, we need, we need some other wives. And we've got some daughters. Hi, daughters. Wait, make concubine. You're not wives. They're extra concubines. Make a concubine. Of course. And we've got another daughter. Make her a concubine. And we've got another daughter. She's 42. She's not going to have any children. That's okay. Make her a concubine. Let's go for it. I'm very happy to see this. We have our daughter and woman. We have our daughter, woman, and player, heir. And then we have our daughter and woman. Oh, and don't forget our wife. She's a good love woman. She's also too old to give us kids, so the only way we're going to get a son is on our daughters. Now that we've properly made all of our daughters our concubines, it's time to go for a pilgrimage to show how truly religious we are. Let's go on a nice long journey. Yes, I can feel my connection to the Lord of Wisdom. We are truly, truly a divine fellow. I was blind there before, but now I can see. That's the trick to becoming a wise man, folks. Make your daughters your concubines. And our daughter is pregnant and she gave birth to a son. All righty. Congratulations, Santo Craft. Welcome. May you grow to be strong and wise, my son, grandson, and player heir. Our God recognizes how important and holy we are. We are now a holy warrior in their name. What a marvelous man. Santo Craft, can you stand up to what you should be doing? Can you stand up to our legacy? Oh no! Our daughter and woman lost her child. She's no longer pregnant. No. And then, you know, but that's okay. Our other daughter and woman actually had a son. He is a little wheezy. But it didn't hurt us in the full circle run, so why would it hurt us here? We'll be fine. And of course, we do have Jameskin, who hangs out on Twitch and Discord. Thank you. May you grow to be strong and wise. No, send for a physician now. We've been severely injured by charging. You are quite experienced. Come on. What is debt? We have our family. We don't need to worry about debt. Excellent work. You helped us. Will you let us live longer? I don't know. We are 62 and severely injured. Uh, yes. Get an impressed claim. More money. Maybe our liege will press it for us. Please, liege. Do as I ask. Press my claim on this neighboring county. While I'm just playing around right now here in this uh, time slot, I likely will run a time lapse just to see what happens. Because one issue that we have sort of in the other time lapses is that the Byzantines are very powerful to start out with. And they just kind of explode outwards and grab a lot of land. Here, though, they've got Kazaria to the north, which is pretty big. And they've got the Abyssus to the south, which are pretty big. And then, of course, if the Carlings manage to, you know, put things together, even though they don't have all those uh, lovely events like they had in CK2, they've got another big power over here that could be stopping the Byzantines in their tracks. So I think it'll be, I'll run a time lapse and see exactly what happens. Though, you know, nothing can beat marrying your daughters to have sons. And our daughter begets a daughter. Wonderful. Here you go, Agamaday. Welcome to the family. And we have died. We are now Santa Craft, who is six years old. And you know what? We know who he's going to marry. Let's betroth him to his sister. Oops. Come on. That's not it. Uh, arrange a marriage. You. Excellent! And then we can't take concubines yet. I think our, our half-sisters and aunts and mother will be too old. Yeah, she's 49. She's 41. She's 33. They'll probably be too old when we get, to, we get old enough. But that's okay! We're married to our half-sister, aunt, and niece! Three for one! What a combo! Totally passed me by. But as Twitch Chat has pointed out, 
our lovely starting character here was chased, and yet, and yet, he had three children with his other three children. He just loved his family. You know, we're upset that our father only had one daughter of an age where she could actually maybe have it, give us a kid. So, we, we're taking it out on this little kid. He's four years old. We are nine. Let's go teach him a lesson. We're not a great person. Wait, wait, we totally missed it. We have another half-sister, aunt, and niece. We've got a concubine of the proper uh, family line. And it's all in good fun to bully this kid, apparently. Puppy! It's my puppy now! <gasps> Ooh, we have a puppy! You're Nola! You are now a puppy! Congratulations! <coughs> and of course, the best thing about a puppy- excuse me, go away. You can pet the dog. I said go away. Of course she doesn't want to go away. We got our sister out of the way. But it's time to take a deep breath and find my trusted four-legged companion, Yornola. Some people say dogs are base creatures, but no matter how tough life gets, I know he will always be there for me. We can only pet our dog every five years, though. And now we have a kitten! Let's go pet the kitten. We've got Sonic Bread. What a great name. Let's go pet Sonic Bread. Pet your cat. Yaw, thank you, my friend. Aw, Sonic Bread and Yernola cuddled up together on the floor. Yernola's white coat is shining. Sonic Bread has obviously been at work cleaning him. They're so cute together. Aw. Aw, she's our half-sister, aunt, and niece, but it doesn't show that she's our wife here, too. That's, that's very sad. But hey, we gained fame by marrying her, so can't go wrong there. And now we just need her other sister to grow up a little bit, and she gets to be a concubine. Aw, isn't that so lovely, just keeping in the family? Time! Our lovely half-sister here must be our concubine. That's fine. We've got a wife and a sister, and, well, they're both, they're two, they're a wife, a sister-wife, and a sister-concubine, and they totally need to give us kids, please. So, our sister-wife has not given us a child now, yet. It is time to, we can't even romance her. Excuse me? You dislike, oh, because you're brave. You're brave? No, seduce you. 45% chance. Come on, be our lover. The day is pregnant. I cannot wait to hold the babe in my arms. Come, my half-sister, aunt, niece, and wife. Give me a child to spread the, uh, our dynasty. Yes, that thing. To grow the family bean pole. And look at that! Our other half-sister, aunt, niece, and concubine is now pregnant. I cannot wait to hold the be the babe the babe in our arms. I can't talk. I literally can't talk. Okay. Our sister wife, our aunt wife, our niece wife, she she denied our seduction. <gasps> How could you? No. And you're you're the the father of our child. No. You're the father of our child. You're the mother of our child! <laughs> Alright, so here's our family tree. We are on here twice, in two different tiers. Our son is on here four times in two different tiers. <laughs> now we need to have a daughter. <laughs> a daughter! No, you don't get to be Matab. You don't get to be Matab, you get to be Happy Hensel. Yeah, Rosebud! No, you don't like Happy Hensel? Oh well, much better. She is a bit of a bleeder. But that's okay. She's still part of the family. And she will be betrothed to our son. Yes. Right? Where is our son? Somewhere in here. And here we go. A match made in heaven. Our son, Nick. Our daughter, Happy Hansel. They are related. And there's a risk of children being inbred. But that's okay. Family marries family. And look at that. They're the same age. Our son, nephew, and cousin. Our daughter, niece, and cousin. They're perfect. Now that we've married our son, Nick, to our daughter, Happy Hansel, I think this circle is complete and we've had a lovely adventure in the year 769. Well, it's now 795. We've played about 30 years. And, you know, Europe looks a mess. That, that's pretty darn standard for 769 start in uh, CK2. Though I noticed Asturias actually survived here, which is something that never happened in CK2 or almost never happened. Uh, yeah. So let's jump into a bit of a time lapse to see what happens to the world when I let it run for a few hours. A few, or I should say a few hundred years. And we'll check back in afterwards.
let the game run a little bit. Now we're at 867, which is, you know, the original start date or the earliest start date in CK3 right now. Uh, Lothringia seems to have come out ahead over here. Pictland is taking over the Isles. England is getting smushed. Uh, Denmark is spearing themselves into Germany. Italy exploded, but it's still very nice in Genoa. Uh, the Byzantines grew. Kazaria grew. Byzantines didn't grow too far, though. The Abbasids seem to have exploded. And then Tibet grew a bit, but they seem to have shrunk again. Or not shrunk, but they didn't grow as much as they had before. I think they shrank. And if we go take a look here at Walken, it is currently at war for uh, Munjan. Oh, he's trying to... Oh, he's trying to take the take the land. It was a holy war. Okay. So, but... Can I please click on the county? Thank you. There he is! He's still assassinated. The Sassanids still rule here. Did they get to take anything in their dynasty? Let's take a look. Here was Siantocraft, who we played. Oh, come on. And Siantocraft had Nick. Nick a Apparently was brutally mauled. Oh my word. But he was married to his sister Happy Hansel and they did convert. And they had a son who is currently ruling and he's inbred. But look at that, he still has eight intrigue. Good for you, dude. Good for you. And apparently your spouse is dead, but you haven't gotten a new one. And... Wait, we have... Oh, we have two daughters. His son is also a Nick and was slain in battle. And there's his grandson, who is not inbred. So, you know, they, they cured themselves of the inbred problem. <laughs> but is there truly a problem to make a lovely family circle? No, I don't think it is. At least not in CK3. <laughs> but that was the 769 bookmark uh, mod. Link for it will be in the description down below. Go check it out for yourself. It does offer, you know, more, more characters, more time for playing, more border gore, which is very, very, the border gore is very true to the original 769 start in CK2, because my god did Europe look like this all the goddamn time. Though I suppose if you try to use this in tandem with the last mod that I showcased, which basically eliminated or really cut down on what counted as a valid C channel for uh, exclaves, you could really make a tidy map, I suppose, or fairly tidy. You certainly wouldn't have a little bit of a uh, Toulouse separated. No, these guys are all separate. Hess is in three, four, five pieces. What happened to you, Hess? Whoa, no, no, six, seven. Oh my god, what happened to you? <laughs> oh dear. Well, this is Border Gore Central. Except for Iceland, because Iceland shall remain pure and whole of body. All right, and that will be the end of this, so I'll see y'all in the next video. Remember to ring that bell, hit that like button, leave a comment down below. What do you think of this start? Do you wish that we had 769 in the actual base game? Or do you think that it was way too much border gore, way too ahistorical for the what it was in the game? Please let me know down below. And remember, check out Discord, Patreon, Twitter, Twitch, all links in the description. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye!